sign that pleased the Australian Aboriginal was the flowering of the Pituri plant. Its equivalent today is the Duboisia, or Corkwa tree. Like the ancient Pituri, which the natives treasured, it yields the valuable drug Hyocene. Duboisia belongs to the same family as our Belladonna, or deadly nightshade. The leaves are first dried and ground into powder. In stainless steel percolators, the hyoscine is extracted by alcohol. The residue is removed while the alcohol containing the hyoscine is run off into vats. The alcohol is now evaporated, allowing the hyoscine alkaloid to cool off and become concentrated. During the period of cooling, the greatest care must be taken to prevent the poisonous vapors from coming into touch with the eye. Hyocene can be even more deadly than strychnine. Incidentally, Crippin used it to poison his wife. The drug is now in crystal form, enough here to poison 20,000 people. The crystals are hand powdered under glass as a protection against contact with even the smallest particles of dust. And so to the machine that transforms the powder into pellets. What was once a wild plant is now a lifesaver, one of the most powerful drugs for disordered nerves known to medical science. In that bottle is about 400 pounds worth. Sign, please. In